All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I am just Mopar Joe. And UPS came through. This is an 1105. If you want to see the specs, we are 51 thousandths thick, 4.590 gasket bore. And I think that looks pretty good all the way around. The bottom is the closest point, but we're safe. So that looks good. I will uh, get our head on, get our lifters in, and set up the push rod checker so we can see what length that we actually need. Uh, he does have T and D rockers that look pretty nice. They've already been measured and set up for the heads. I put my adjuster push rod in here. You may can see it around the corner. And I put one of his old push rods back on this side. So what T&D says on the website, just as a starting point, turn that back that screw all the way out, your adjuster, um, and then turn it in one full turn stop. They're very specific about oiling and the ability to get through the adjuster or whatever, but that's where they like it, starting point. So I've got the adjuster push rod set now. I did not do it to the same one here. I'm a little curious on if I should be studying for two different length push rods. I don't know if you can tell the angle to that dude or not, but uh, the intakes might end up being longer because they're angled. I mean, that kind of how it goes. There's our comp lifter out of that exact hole that it used to live in. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I want to study that. I'll check that length there, write it down, and then I'll swap it over to the other hole. I think he said that we're changing uh, from a 40,000th to a 51,000th gasket, but that's not very much uh, in the world of uh, push rod length. On the engine before was like a standard big block Chevrolet length or something. Uh, so I wanna check my new length here versus that one to kind of see the difference. I didn't, I put that at zero lash. So when it does get 15 thousandths or whatever the cam card says, uh, it'll screw out just barely, but not very much. So I'm just tinkering right now. Here's what the valve pattern looks like on the front too. Uh, sweet pattern, it's very high up, but you gotta remember, this is a very large cam. So I say very large. In my world, it's very large. Uh, I think over 750 lift or something. So I'd like to see where it rolls to and returns, but I don't have my soft springs on here. These are the new pack springs put on at Kuntz. So I need to put my checker springs on. Well, he was right on the money, I think, when he uh, measured for the exhausts. This is a Comp 9650. It's only, it was only 80,000 wall. And I think he's got something like 700 or 800 uh, pounds of pressure on these springs. So we want more than 80 wall. It's kind of the consensus of the world out there. Uh, my measurement I got on that exhaust, if you see my beautifully crude math here, uh, I'm actually 72 thousandths more I know it kind of looks funny, but 72 thousandths more, uh, longer push rod. So I could tell right now if I wanted to, I can put two of his stock ones back in and see the difference in the turns, but I think they don't, they don't want to deviate past one turn, uh, with their rocker arms to be sure they still oil correctly. So I might as well, it's all still set up here. Won't take but just a second. And I'll put my check our difference. Small amount of play, larger. I don't know what that lash is, but all I need to do is. So the difference would be starting there. There's an off on my nut. There's a quarter turn, half turn. Three quarter turn. Full turn. 
I think we're there. Yeah. So basically a full turn. So I think I would rather have a, well, we don't have an offset lifter. These lifters are not offset. That's the lifters that he has and that's what they're what, there are what's in here. And I think that's what we're using. Uh, but currently it would take a full, another turn. You can see right beside it here. That's how basically these two were. If I can lay them back where you can look. That was a full round out. So right now we're at one and three quarter turns out on our exhausts versus one turn out on the intakes. So I, I do believe I need to order two different length push rods to make this right. So inquiring minds have to know. Right now I'm on zero lift, uh, but I've got my gauge preloaded uh, about 850 thousandths. So that should be at least a hundred more than what is on the cam card. So I was gonna to go to max lift. I'm clear around here. I know y'all can't see it from that angle. It's not touching anywhere. So here we go. Let's check and see what we get on max. Checker spring is on. I think it says 726 on the cam card or on the specs that I gave Kuntz anyway. There's 30, 31, 32, three, and back down. All right, so I'll get us back to 33 right there. Okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna to have to remove this. Set him out of the way. I'm gonna try to get my roller to move a little bit so we can get ourselves a line. It won't be that easy. Uh, and these rockers have a lot of, uh, they don't have much side play to them. I'm gonna hold up here so I can attempt to roll that. I guess we can cycle a few times, just see what happens. There's zero. I know we can get some spin on zero, which there's just a little bit of lash. See there. So here we are. Right there's the outer, and it went back to here for the inner. So it's, it is, as far as I can tell, it's rolling direct center of that. Uh, obviously, we'd like the shortest sweep pattern possible, but uh, I don't think right now I can shim it up. It'll just move us outward. And unless we have some B3 shims of some special kind, but they may not like the uh, 800 pounds of spring pressure or whatever this thing has. So I think we are in a safe zone with that length right there, push rod for the exhaust. I am gonna order a longer one for our intakes. And obviously my geometry on it should be the same. Whoever uh, ordered and set up these T&Ds, I'm sure that was the other owner or the actual owner of this engine, uh, gave them the specific measurements that T&D asked for. And all that looks really nice. So we will push forward. So as we set right now, I've got the new rings ordered from Total Seal, new push rods ordered from Smith Brothers, and a heavier wall. Um, our head gaskets are here. We are just waiting on rings, and then we'll be able to go back together, I think. I appreciate y'all watching and following along with the build. people.